It is Wednesday, October 18th, 2023, and looking out the window at Defiance, it's kind of a blue sky morning, sunshine. It's cool. It's 44 degrees this morning, I think, when I went running. But I think it's supposed to be in the uh, low, low to mid 60s today, kind of a mix of sun and clouds. The devotion for today is entitled Burying the Squirrel. And it's written by Jennifer Ruth Lynn Garrison. Jennifer bases the devotion upon Psalm 90, verses 2 through 3, New International Version. Before the mountains were born, or you brought forth the whole world, from everlasting to everlasting, you are God. You turn people back to dust, saying, Return to dust, you mortals. And then Jennifer writes, One morning, or one afternoon, waiting in the driveway for my first grader school bus to arrive, I noticed a squashed squirrel in the road. Quickly, I ran behind the house to the shed, dug a shallow grave in the front yard, dropped the squirrel into the little hole, and covered it before the bus rounded the corner. I kept death hidden in those days. In our short-lived aquarium phase, it was I who snuck into the living room every morning and noiselessly scooped the toilet into the toilet whoever had floated to the top of the night. A decade later, my not-quite-grown child's father, Jeff, lay dying, and I could not shield him anymore. Had I done the right thing, scooping all the death out of sight so many years ago, would the little deaths have been preparation for the big one? Well, here's what I know. It was my child who turned off the gentle heart music I had selected for Jeff's last night and turned up the progressive rock they both preferred instead. Later, my child read the words from Jeff's favorite book at the natural burial gravesite, and that same child, no longer a kid, shoveled dirt into the simple grave. In spite of all my vigil careful vigilance, when death at last arrived, it was a child who knew just what to do. And the prayer. You are God, and we are not, and yet we want to control and contain all that we can. Let us come to rest. In life as in death, into your everlastingness. Amen. A couple of things that come to mind for me is um, sometimes I do think our Western world um, avoids death and aging um, uh, to a point of being detrimental, I think. I think we really need to um, acknowledge our finitude and that life will end. And uh, as one author I remember reading, I remember who it was, said something like, we're actually dying every day while we're living. Uh, that is what will happen to us eventually. And there's no getting past that. No one has not died at all, ever, in all of history. Uh, everyone returns to dust. The other thing it remain, reminded me of is I think it was Carl Sagan talked about how we're actually made of stardust, that uh, much of the soil on the earth uh, also results from um, planetary fragments, um, asteroids, meteors, that sort of thing, um, coming from who knows where, impacting the soil and um, being pulverized and mixed with our soil and that we actually come from the soil, we return to the soil. It's a natural cycle. And I think that's what um, we in the Western world struggle against. We don't, we want to deny that natural cycle. We tend to take people as they age and push them away out of sight, out of mind. Um, look at advertising on television, it's always about things to look younger, feel younger, be younger. Um, and we should and just embrace life wherever it is at all times, I think. That's kind of where I am with it. So um, anyway, those are my thoughts about it. <clears throat> you may have some different ones. Um, maybe you have some unique ways of handling death and understanding death. Um, but I don't think we should shield people from it. I don't think we should... Um, dramatize it either or accentuate it um because i think you can desensitize people to it but it's really not something that we should try to hide or ignore because it's part of life so i hope you have a good day
hope you have some things to think about with this devotion and hope to talk to you soon.